Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video I am going to show you the new DAX query view. So the DAX query view is the new update from Power BI. It has been released in the November 23 update. It is still in public review and to enable the DAX query view you can go to file, options and settings, options, go to preview features and here you can see this DAX query view. Here you can enable the DAX query view and click on OK. So I have already enabled the DAX query view. So here you can see the DAX query view icon. So let's go to the DAX query view and let's see what it is all about. So whenever you first come in the DAX query view, you will see a definition evaluate top and 100 from orders. So this is basically if I click on run, it will show me the top 100 rows from orders table. Let's click on run. So this orders is basically the first table in your model. So that's why it's showing the orders only. So it, it is now showing the top 100 rows. So here you can see the stats uh, showing that it has it has taken 61 milliseconds to fetch the records. There are 21 columns and 100 rows in this table. So you can imagine this as a SQL database. So there also you can see the data. So now here also you can see the data using DAX queries. In SQL database you use SQL queries but in DAX query view you will have to use DAX queries to explore the data. So let's go to the new query and uh, let's explore some data from our model. So I will write evaluate. So evaluate is basically like the select statement from SQL query. I will I will write orders table. So if I evaluate orders, it I will run it and it will show me the orders table. You can see here it's uh, saying 21 columns and 10,000 rows. So it's returning me the orders table. Suppose I want to return the sum of sales for each category so for that i can write a dax query that is summarize orders and then it's showing to group by by category and then i will write sales to be sum of sales from orders close the bracket so now if i'll run this it will give me sales by category. Similarly, you can explore your data in your data model. I suppose if I write another evaluate and here I will write distinct categories. And if I execute this, so see, it will only execute the second query. It's showing me the distinct values from categories column. So you can write multiple evaluate statements. So if I run this, we'll see uh, two results has been generated. So result one, currently we are viewing the result 1 if I click on result 2 it will show me the result 2 just like SQL database so we have seen how to check data from the table and how to check data from a column so one thing to note here in the DAX query view it will only return the tabular data and not a scalar data what does it mean so if you try to return anything that having scalar value that is measures if I write sum of sales it will not return that it will only return the data in the table format that's why uh, you will only have to use tableau dax functions here or you have to generate data in a table format okay, if i go to all measures and uh, we'll see here that we have sales so if i try to return the sales let's see sale so it's not showing me any intelligence now if i run this see it's showing resolve the error to see result so it's basically throwing error as it cannot show the scalar values now if i want to see the measure values what we can do we can wrap this measure inside a table constructor so this curly bracket is the table constructor so it's basically now if i run this what it will return is it will return a table with one row and one column that is having the sales measure value so if i run this you'll see i am able to see the measure value uh, keep this in mind that we can only show the tabular values in the tax query view so DAX query view is will be very useful if you're writing a complex DAX query and you want to see oh, what the parts of the DAX query is uh, returning me. For example, if I return generate series and the star value is 1, end value is 10 and increment value is 2. If I want to see what this expression is returning, we'll run this. So we can see everything like uh, what is the what are the values it's returning, how many rows it's returning, and what what is the column name it's returning. So these things we can uh, check, and accordingly we can build our DAX logic. 
So let's see one by one uh, the tables, columns and measures. So I will go to one of the table. So let's say orders and I will right click here and go to quick queries. You can see it's showing show top 100 rows, show column statistics. So we have these two options. And uh, there are other options like define all measures in this table, define all measures in this model. So this, uh, the last one is basically, it, it will show you the all the measures uh, inside your uh, data model. It will uh, uh, define all the measures. The, uh, the third one is define all measures in this table. So in this table, I don't have any measures, so it's, uh, it's grayed out. And uh, you can see uh, the we are left with the top. Uh, so we are left with the two options that is show top 100 rows and show column statistics. So if I click on show top 100 rows, it will return the top 100 rows from here. And if I go to uh, show column statistics, it will return the column statistics. So here you can see it, uh, the table name is orders. The column name is row ID, order ID. So these are the column names. And here we have the count count of row id it's 10194 what are the distinct values out of this what is the null count what is the minimum value what is the maximum value what is the median value what is the mean value standard deviation zeros how many zeros are there in this in each column how many even values are there how many odd values are there so all these things you can check so these are the statistics uh, you can see in the in each table so now if i go to the column suppose i want to see the value of a column so what what are the options we have so if I right click on this uh, category and go to quick queries, it's showing show data preview and show column statistics. So we have two options in column, show data preview. If I click on show data preview, it will show the distinct values from of that column. If I click on show column statistics, so it will show the statistics for this category column. It will show the count, distinct count, null values, minimum and maximum value. So this was about the column value now if i go to measure so if i want to see the sales measure i will right click and see quick queries and you can see the, there are four options that is uh, evaluate divine and evaluate define with references and evaluate so evaluate is basically if i click on evaluate it will evaluate the measure so as you remember I have used the constructor and sales to show the sales value. So it's basically using the summarize columns. Again, because summarize columns will uh, return a table value. Now again, if I go to quick queries, it will show define and evaluate. So if I want to see the definition of the measure and uh, as well as I, will, I want to evaluate that, I will go to define and evaluate. So if I click on define and evaluate, it will see that define, it's showing define measure, all measure sales, sum of order sales so this is the uh, me measure definition and uh, this is to evaluate the measure so you can see this define you can uh, think of it as a create statement in sql and evaluate is like a select statement in sql so now if i check another option so it's saying define with references and evaluate so for since we don't have any reference so let's go to formatting trick conditional formatting so if I right click here and if I go to define with the references and evaluate. So it's basically uh, showing. So here you will see define statement. Here you can see uh, the last one, this measure, metric condition formatting. And inside this measure, we have sales measure, total profit measure, total orders measures and return orders measure. So it will define all these four values here. So here you can see it's defining sales value. Uh, total profit measure value, total uh, total orders. So it will uh, also give the definition of other measures inside the measure. So you, so you can easily track your measures, like uh, what are the measures uh, being used inside the measure and what is the definition of that measure. So you can see that in here with this option. Now let's go to the last option here that is define all measures in this model. So if I click on define all measures in this model, it will define all the measure that is present in the uh, in my data model. So you can see uh, that there is define statement again, which is, which is defining all the measures. And uh, there is an evaluate statement, which is uh, evaluating all the measures. Now, let's see what are the options available here right now. So you can see define measure, measure name, and then what is the measure expression? So from here, we can update multiple measures quickly 
so if i want to uh, write into one here and uh, here also i want to write into one so you can see i have updated two measures so you can see in a pop-up is coming update model override measures so i have uh, changed these two measures and i am getting these two pop-ups uh, uh, on the bow of that measure so if i want to update the measure i will click on update model or override measure showing this action can be undone so i will click on confirm so it basically has updated the second measure and if i click on uh, this again so it will update this measure here so i have updated the two measures uh, without going to each measure so in this manner we can update measures quickly now let's see if we can create a new measure or not so if i write measure and uh, i want this measure to be in all measures table and the measure name will be sample measure and uh, the uh, expression will be 2 into 2 let's say for example so let's say if we can create a measure or not so if you can see that we have got a pop-up uh, saying update model add new measure so if i click on this it will add a new measure so you can see a sample measure has been added so this is how we can quickly add a new measure also now let's see if we can want to delete some measures we can do that or not so if i uh, delete this the new measure from here and if i run this so it's not showing here but the measure has not been deleted from here if you see this sample measure is still there so it's not able to delete the measures from here so i think as this is a new feature so this deleting feature will be added in the future updates so this is all about the dax query view so you should definitely try this out on your own and uh, let me know if you like the video that's all about this video so if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel and uh, thanks for watching